Welcome to the Urban Farm Fruit Tree Program. We are in the midst of citrus season. This is uh, late February, early March, and this is when we get to deliver out all of the wonderful fruit trees that y'all purchased. And oh, by the way, we always bring in extras. We purchased a couple trees today. We purchased a kumquat, um, a peach, um, and then we got a guava, and we're also getting a uh, moringa. Today I bought a blood orange and a Mexican thornless lime. The type of trees I'm purchasing today is a uh, lemon tree. We have several different varieties here. Three different types of peaches and a couple of different berries and a pomegranate. I choose to purchase my trees from Greg Peterson because the, the quality of the tree has been really good. We've had good history with his trees in the past. You can see that their foliage on here is, is really good quality at this time. So my name is Greg Peterson and I run the Urban Farm Fruit Tree Program. In September and October, we give all kinds of free fruit tree classes around Phoenix. You can get them online, you can get them in person, and then you have an opportunity to adopt a few trees or a lot of trees, and then we deliver them the deciduous ones in January and the citrus in February and March. The cool thing about citrus is that any kind of citrus can grow here. So you can get creative. There's lemons, there's limes, there's a plethora of oranges, tango mandarins. Some of my favorites are the Trovita orange, the Caracara pink navel, the Moro blood oranges. So really your imagination's the limit on the citrus. I choose to um, purchase from Greg Peterson because I feel like the quality is there. I choose Greg's place because of uh, the knowledge that he has, uh, the ease to communicate with him and because he his product has always been very good this is about my tenth tree I buy. We know the products that Greg uh, has for us are, are top-notch and high quality and um, everything we've put in the ground so far has been growing terrific and looking forward to getting our first batch of fruit this year from the trees that we bought last year and you know these days we don't know what's going into the products at the grocery store so um, it's nice to know that and I recommend everybody doing it because we need more trees around too so you know grow your own fruit and yep. produce trees and help the environment at the same time. Every year we bring in three different sizes of citrus. There's the five gallon citrus, the 15 gallon citrus, and the 24 inch box citrus. And I'm always getting the question from people, what size should we buy? And it's really up to you because the fives are less expensive, but they're also smaller. The 15s usually are a three to four times the size of a tree. So you're gonna get a little bit more fruit a little faster. As you can see from the picture, the 24 inch box trees are huge. The space needed kind of varies. You can put a small tree, a five gallon tree in a smaller space, but you don't necessarily need a space five or 10 times as big for the 24 inch box. You just get a bigger tree faster. If you're interested in getting an instant tree, the 24 inch box is a wonderful choice. You just have to figure out how to get it home. As far as courses are concerned, I've actually gone to Greg's house when he's done like the tour of the house and shown us what he's planted. He was showing us how to prune and he said, bring your own if you want. I really like that, they're very hands-on. We took the uh, beginning your garden class, we listened to a couple of podcasts. Just like Greg says, we all have to take care of ourselves. That's the way that our existence is gonna be able to keep going. You know, if, if we're all sustainable, if we're all able to grow our own gardens, then we don't have to worry about the grocery store. The fruit trees in our program are incredible, they're healthy, and I'm gonna teach you how to grow them successfully. So growing fruit in your front yard and your backyard is one of the most important things that I think needs to happen these days. Not only from a food security perspective, because we only have three days supply of food in any urban area, but from a food health perspective. The food that you grow in your yard, whether it's vegetables or fruit, you know what you're putting into it, therefore it's more nutrient dense and it's better for you. Oh, I would absolutely recommend for people to reach out to Urban Farm and to Greg because he's really knowledgeable, he's provided a lot of information, I've been to one of the um, live sessions that they do up at the market and all of those sessions were really worthwhile, it's about storing seed, about you know what will grow in the valley, why it grows in the valley, I got a lot of information and I'm like a beginning gardener. 
So this was what was really important to me, is having somebody who knows what they're doing that can give me information to get me started. Greg has been very knowledgeable and helpful to us, uh, especially our first go around on the trees. We, we had moved on to a new property and we have uh, a little farm going now, so we're, we came to him for a lot of information. He was terrific, just a wealth of knowledge, you know, from his 25 plus years of doing this. So definitely reach out to Greg if you have the opportunity to. Plant something. Whether you're planting herbs in a pot on a porch or starting an entire garden, just do it. That's too cliche. So here's the deal. Just have fun with this. Participate in the fruit tree program. Plant yourself a garden. Just do it because, man, growing your own food is so much fun.